Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back, it's Zach. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my tips and tricks for how to heal a zit or make it go away quickly with a couple of simple ingredients. The reason I'm bringing out this video today is because I actually have a couple of zits on my neck, probably from shaving, or sometimes when I am washing my face, I don't drag it down my neck at all, which is the biggest mistake because then I end up with a couple of zits, but luckily I have a couple of tips to get rid of them quickly. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button and let's jump into it. In my hands here, I have three products that have different active ingredients that are great for healing a zit, but there's also another active ingredient that can be used as well. So I'm gonna start out with talking about the problem. The best way to deal with this problem is to make sure that no more zits occur. A couple of tips can be to change your pillowcase a couple of nights a week or nightly. I used to change it every single night, but I no longer do that. I usually change that every other night or about three times a week. And that's really helpful because your, your sweat, your oil, your face, things throughout the night can just kind of hold on to that pillowcase. And then that bacteria can get back onto your skin the next night and cause a breakout. The next tip is to use a silk pillowcase. One, it's a lot more friendly on your skin. It's gonna not cause as many wrinkles. And unfortunately, silk is such a high quality material that it is a little bit expensive, but I got two silk pillowcases on Amazon that I actually have no idea where they are right now. So they're not doing any benefit for me, but when I did have them, they were great. I'm gonna have to buy more or look further. I have no idea what happened, literally no idea. They're really soft on the skin and you can get ones that zip up around your pillowcase because otherwise they can kind of slide around and slide off. So that'd be my recommendation is change your pillowcase a couple of nights a week and use silk pillowcases. You really only need two to be able to change them as long as you do laundry, you know, a couple times a week. That's going to be a great tip. The second thing is watch your diet. Diet is really important. And another thing is clean around your mouth when you finish eating. If you're using foods using. If you're eating foods that can be a little bit greasy, it's really important to wipe all around the mouth after you finish. I notice I'll get a breakout near my mouth or the chin area a day or two after I ate something and then I realize oh, I left it on my mouth. Either while you're eating or whatever, some pastas, all the oils and stuff like that. But you're probably watching this because you already have a zit like me. By the way, all these are going to be super affordable because F paying 20 bucks for a skincare product that like an acne, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. This is the Ordinary Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. This is a great product. It comes in one fluid ounce, which I think is fine since you're not going to probably use it all the time. This is great for like a spot treatment. Some people don't like it because it is like a dimethicone kind of formula. And some people find that it's just kind of like thick, but I don't mind it at all. Where is that pimple? Right here. I'm gonna pop some on right now. So this is uh, product number one. This can be mixed with tons of different skincare products and not cause irritation. So that's why azelaic acid is so great. It is also safe during pregnancy. And I'm well aware that people that are pregnant have a lot of hormone imbalances and things and can get breakouts. So knowing that this is a safe option is great. The next option is going to be a salicylic treatment. I don't have one on hand. But salicylic acid leave-on treatments, acne spot treatments, are good for acne that's caused by the clogged pores or over oiliness because the salicylic acid is going to get deep down in the pore to help clean it out. It can also be beneficial for ingrown hairs. So if you have either of those going on, salicylic acid is going to be great for you. You don't necessarily need to have it in a leave-on treatment. You can use it in a wash-off form. And for that, I really love the Zapsit 2% salicylic acid face wash. It's been mentioned in a few of my videos. I really, really like that. Once the summer months come, I probably go back to that because I do get oily in the summer. Another option that I have here is the Acne Free Terminator 10. It is a 10% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. So this is the strongest strength that you can get in the US at your drugstore. And this is by the brand Acne Free. It can be by any brand really. Tons of brands make acne treatment products. This one was on sale. It doesn't have any fragrance or any irritants. You really want to avoid fragrance when you're using an active ingredient, especially if you're trying to heal something. Even if you don't have issues with fragrance or oils or stuff like that, 
you want to really minimize what you're putting on that zit so that it can just get cleared up right away. This is a great product. Um, this is more like a lotion consistency. It's not like that dimethicone form and it just blends right away. I really like the way that this goes on and feels. It just feels very smooth on the skin and I have put concealer over this before to treat the pimple and then cover the pimple for a night out and it works great. And mine is expired. All my stuff expires because things expire and I don't use them. That's why I like products with preservatives because I want, I want it to last longer. Okay, next product is gonna be a topical vitamin A treatment. Mine, I use prescription tretinoin. If you do not have access to a dermatologist or a doctor to get a prescription, don't worry. You can go to your local drugstore in the US and you can get brand name Differin or La Roche-Posay has a Adapalene product. Those are going to be great. It's going to be Adapalene 0.10% and that's going to be very effective. These are great as more of a long-term treatment plan. You'll use them, you know, a couple nights a week or, or every night and they will constantly exfoliate the skin and turn over your top layer to help prevent acne from coming. But if you already have the zit, sometimes this can be nice as a little spot treatment. So I'll put this on tonight on my neck. I usually don't use this specifically on my neck because it's so strong. But if I got a pimple there, I will definitely pop it on there and I'm sure it will go away very quickly. Those are my tips for dealing with a zit. Don't get yourself down. It will go away quick. The worst thing to do is to pick at it. So definitely do not do that. That can just spread bacteria. It may leave a scar if you pick at it, which we do not want. So those are some tips to healing up your acne and making sure it goes away quickly. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Stay subscribed. Stay subscribed. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.